Guys, I am so happy to be back right now. It has been a while and I know that, but I am back with probably one of the most requested videos that I have been emailed about, commented about, and just asked about how to get a lab job in America. Now, I'm trying not to make this clickbait, but I do want to set a few disclaimers before I even start the videos. If you wanna hear these disclaimers first, then decide if you wanna watch this video because I don't wanna disappoint you, but I also don't want to waste your time. There have been a lot of questions if I can get people a job in America. No, I cannot. I am not here to get people a job in America. I'm not an easy in anywhere. I am here to give my two cents about how someone can go about getting a job in America the right way. Without further ado, if you wanna still keep watching this video, I will touch broadly on how you can get a job basically the standard ways of how to be a foreigner getting a job in the US. I'll also be giving my advice on certain qualifications that labs might be looking for. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, what is going on? My name is Bronte and I started this YouTube channel documenting my lab technician lab manager experience and then it just kind of launched from there. So this is exciting. If you want to get a job in the US and you are a foreigner, it can be challenging, but it's not unfeasible to get a job in America. Most of the time when you live in America or wanting to live in America, it is required to have a working visa and a green card. Those are the two standards that you need if you are a foreigner. Yes, it can be challenging, and yes, the process can be very lengthy, but you just wanna make sure you do it the right way. You don't wanna get into any trouble or any legal trouble. That can just basically tarnish the whole process. You don't wanna do that to yourself, so please, please, please do it the right way. You wanna log online and you wanna go to the United States Citizenship an immigration services webpage. I believe the page is called working in the US you want to click on. Then there, there are different working categories where you get an overall view of what kind of visa or what kind of legal papers you need for that certain job. So if you have the right combination of skills and education, you can go ahead and apply for your employment based working visa. Now, for what many people have asked me about the qualifications of becoming a lab technician or working in a lab in the US. From my experience, from what I have seen, you need to have the right profile expectations and qualifications for certain jobs. Now, I am not gonna dive into every single one of these uh, job um, like laboratory technicians or you know medical lab certification technicians or phlebotomists or everything I'm just going to keep it general to lab and medical laboratory technicians. Basically, you do need to have the right qualifications. Many labs require an associates a basic lab certification. Many are looking for a four year accredited. I am going to put emphasis on accredited university bachelor's degree. A lot of them are looking for experience. A lot of them are looking for certain skill sets, but it is not impossible if you do not have any experience. So let me touch on if any high schoolers or people without any skills or any lab experience or any certifications want to start dipping their toes in labs. My advice, start enrolling in courses that pertain to lab. Math and science are huge. Do accredited courses that universities may offer. There are sometimes programs through universities or accredited institutions that do a couple weeks programs that start dipping your toes into what lab is like and they teach you basic skills. I 
always, always, always recommend outside experience. Email around, get in contact with people, go on the websites and the working websites and start emailing around. You never know what kind of lab out there, even a local lab might need some hands-on entry-level assistant or assistants. You need to use your resources. I say, if you are unsure, go for it. I say, in my experience where I started out, I started out in a lab very, very young. I was 16 years old when I interned and it was a summer internship and I worked, I worked like a dog. I did some of the most, I wanna say like dirtiest jobs out there. I was, um, the lab rat, as we say, I was the basic intern. I didn't know anything. But what I did start to gain was lab experience and I did start to observe the scientists and I did gain exposure to these skills. And then later on, I was able to be hands on in the projects, even at a young age. So I continued this lab internship over the summers. I went back on my breaks. So even as a high schooler or entry level college student, I was able to volunteer and gain exposure. That is experience. That is experience that labs wanna see and that will carry on through your resume for the future years to come. So for those of you who do not have any lab experience, who are entry level, who are high school, who are college, who don't have their degree yet or any certification, try that way. You go to your teachers, go to your resources, email around. You will be surprised at what you will find. The worst thing that people can say is no, but do not give up there. Do not let your dreams get crushed early on. The minimum that I have found in certain certification programs, they want a high school diploma or GRE, or they want equivalent work. So that goes back to my experience that I spoke about. Sometimes they say, we want a year of relevant experience um, if you don't have your high school diploma or your GRE. A lot of the time it's exposure, but some, most of the time if people who do not want to go to uh, university right away and they just want to do a certification program, most of the time they want that high school or GRE in hand. Now, I think Diving into probably one of the most requested portions of this video is how do I become a medical lab technician? Now, maybe a surprise to you guys, I am not a medical lab technician. I am a microbiome-based technician. I also work in the medical field as a nurse, so I think there was some confusion in my couple videos, but I was happy to research the standard for medical lab technician certifications for you guys. Now this goes for US and international based. So I tried to research one of the most common certification programs of one or you guys can go through. I will link it down below, but the most common that I came across was the Medical Lab Technician Association or the MLT ASCP, the American Society for Clinical Pathologists. And on that website, it'll bring you through program options to get the basic certification that one may need when it comes to becoming a medical lab technician. This type of program is one of the gold standards nationally and internationally. It ensures that you know the basic skill sets and knowledge when it becomes uh, when it comes to you becoming a medical lab technician. I believe I read it's one of the oldest and largest agencies there is, so they're pretty well renowned in teaching you these skill sets and getting the certifications that you need. On the website, um, I believe when you click on it, there are, it shows all their sponsorships. You wanna scroll down to the bottom and you'll start seeing links for the exam process uh, for uh, US certifications and international certifications. Specifically, I'll touch on the international certifications because I feel like that has been the most requested uh, 
for the people who have been contacting me. So if you click on international certifications, and I actually have the website up on my phone now, uh, just to make sure I am not missing anything. They have so many options and different types of certifications that you can get. So I am going to click on the technician certification link. So each one of the certification links, you click on it. And this is what is fantastic about this site. It tells you the routes you need to apply for for this specific examination topic or the program. So it gives you many different routes or it'll tell you the experience that you need to qualify for this program. So I feel like that is fantastic. It's very straightforward and it tells you what you need to apply to even get into these certification programs. So I'm going to go through an example with you guys on this website. Now I am looking at under international certifications. I am looking at under let's see let's go to the highest volume certifications category and i'm going to click on the medical laboratory scientist link there you'll see a drop down list of the eligible routes you can take to take this certification and you click on each route and it tells you what options or certifications they're looking for before you apply to this program or this exam. So for example, for the medical lab scientist, route one is a bachelor degree from an accredited university of biological science, medical lab science, or chemistry, and a successful completion of a training program that must include blood banking, chemistry, hematology, microbiology. Route two, they want three years of acceptable clinical experience and they will describe even further what they're even looking for. So you need to look at that description or those type of descriptions very, very carefully. Again, you want to make sure you do your research because you don't want any surprises when it comes later down the line when you're actually applying to these certification programs. They give you so many different routes for every different type of certification that you are looking for so when it comes to when you're ready and when you have a certain route satisfied you can then go apply to the training documentation and the courses and the certification exams that you are looking for and actually this site does a great job of um, getting you ready to apply for the exam and getting ready for exam day um, they give you a link to the exam information. It looks like they uh, break down what you can expect on the exam and how much the exam will be. So those are the type of sites that you want to carefully assess. And you want an accredited um, certification exam, right? We don't want to waste our time. You also want to make sure that whatever certification program that you're going through is internationally accepted if you're looking for a job in a different country. So I'm going to put this link below. This is the ASCP Board of Certification. And it is accepted nationally and internationally. So I will put that link information down below for you. And that is not the only one. I don't want to just pigeonhole you into one type of certification. Uh, there are many different types. That was just the gold standard one that I found common across the board for nationals and internationals. What you want to make sure is you want to apply to a certification program that satisfies the general want of your end goal. What that means is you want to make sure that you are applying to the right programs that will get you into your end goal. And that's why I feel like it is so, so important in doing your research before you even start this process. I find a lot of the time people just jump before researching and you don't wanna do all of this work to then end up with the goal that you don't want, if that makes sense. I also, want to encourage people to not give up because I feel like the emails that I get and the comments that I get, people feel very defeated in the process. I just want to let people know no matter what entry that you are, whether it's high school or the most experience of the experience and you're looking for a change, please don't give up. 
this is such a beautiful process to go to but it's not one that you want to cheat or you know rush it you want to make sure your end goal is the goal that you are trying to meet so make sure probably one or a couple of very important key things make sure your certifications are correct and make sure you're getting the experience that you need for your end goal job and your end goal just your end goal of what you want to be if you're looking to come to america make sure that experience is qualified and make sure that your certification and your diplomas and your degrees match what we're looking for so make sure you go to an accredited university that will be accepted over here and a lot of the time you can ask your counselors or your leaders at your college to make sure that they can see if their certification at the schools that you have over there or your foreign schools match and can be applied to in the u.s because sometimes um, in certain countries the degree certifications do not match so you don't want to go through a whole program without doing your research first if your end goal is to come to the US. What else can I tell you? I just wanna tell you guys to not give up. I feel like some of the comments that I've been getting is people do really feel defeated and that breaks my heart or they failed a program or they can't seem to find experience or they can't seem to find opportunities. Please just don't give up science and these types of fields of work are very difficult for a reason you need to be competent in them but a lot of the time it's just finding the experience that you need and it is never easy but once you get into the right type of program i think you'll be surprised of how hard and all the hard work it took to get there how like worth it it is so i just want to tell people to keep going for whatever it's worth because i hate seeing people give up that just breaks my heart i don't like hearing that i just every time i'm in contact with someone or i give my advice i just tell them to keep going because i know how hard it is i know the certifications that you need i know the trial and error that it takes so for me to be able to help people and give my advice to them uh, means the world to me. So I am happy to make this video for you guys. This video was very broad, but I hope this kind of gave you a basic understanding of what you should be looking out for when you're starting your process of getting a lab job or getting a lab job in america so if you have any other questions for me or if you want me to dive into anything more specific please comment down below i am looking at the comments and i am answering your emails again i put this disclaimer in the beginning of the video i am not here to get anyone a job i'm here to give my experience advice on the process of getting a job and what helps me out a great deal is if you subscribe to my channel. So I want to thank everyone for the previous support or the support this last year. It has been heartwarming uh, to see and to get your emails and to get your comments. So if you subscribe to my channel, that really does help me out. And it helps me create more videos for you in the future. So if you want more science content, if you want more lab content, please, or if you want more advice content, please um, drop me a bell and drop me a comment. I am gonna end the vlog here and I look forward to your comments and your messages and future videos with you guys. Bye guys.